Hello YouTube, I'm Quan Fear and welcome to my walkthrough of Batman Arkham Asylum. This video shows how to go through the medical center. The video picks up after I, got, I have gotten the explosive gel from the Batmobile and made my way to Arkham, to West Arkham. So let's pick up, pick this up at the first fight with the group of five goons right outside the medical building. This is a uh, pretty basic fight, actually. Um, you know, you just move your work your way from uh, person to person. Uh, countering, you know, as always, is pretty extensive. With these kind of fights, I find that um, if you're as long as you're not trying to go for like a high uh, achievement where you, you need a high score, you can just really just get right down to it and uh, using the takedowns. Otherwise, you want to jump around a lot more and jump and by jumping over the people. It, uh, you know, that'll help you score uh, score higher. Uh, and then before you go in, just grab these uh, three uh, teeth. And uh, as you walk in, you'll get a small cutscene with uh, Harley Quinn, or Harley Quinn, I should say. And once that's over, you leave and have to find a new way. Um, in this case, you just zip on up to the top. You want to go right first and all the way to the end of the building, and you'll find uh, one of the uh, Riddler's uh, question marks. And then make your way to the other side of the building, looking for the uh, damaged walls. Um, and you use, simply use your new explosive gel ability on it to uh, to open it right up. So once you're inside, you, it's just a matter of making your way through the uh, uh, through the vent system. And I'm making sure to make the right hand turn up here to uh, grab the, uh, the question mark. And uh, then make your way to the uh, end where a stealth mission begins with uh, three or four bad guys. Now this is just the way I happen to do it this time. There are several uh, breakable walls, breakable platforms, and all kinds of things you can really do. Uh, this is just the way I happen to do it this time. Um, it's not real fancy, but I do make extensive use of my uh, uh, inverted takedown technique, which I just happen to like. Hey, get off me! Ah! Now the thing about uh, broken walls, you can actually, if you do it right, you can actually do it right, and if you get people around it you can actually uh, get multiple takedowns. So if you can actually get them to come to the wall, you can uh, just take out all kinds of people. This one, I uh, set up the explosives and then uh, I wait a bit, but they never get close enough, and so I just detonate it, get in that one, and, and uh, move on. What kind of hospital is this? Looks more like a torture room. I hate hospitals. Always gives me the creeps. Oh God, I found someone over here! Taking, uh, doing a, a, fly, a glide kick like that is really one of the uh, basic moves to, for this, but it does attract a lot of attention, so you got to make sure to uh, get out of there as soon as you can. Um, I did not, and they were it managed to uh, get a couple shots off, out, off to, uh, towards me, and so just kind of go from uh, gargoyle to gargoyle a couple times, and they uh, will lose sight of you. And then just get back to... Uh, you know, to trying to separate them. Uh, at this point, they actually start separating on their own. Sometimes the computer Come keeps own, their guys I'm together, which does make it more difficult. And if you have a hard time seeing bad guys in any of these games Personally, or any of these levels, I just use a detective vision. You, um, you know, they glow bright red, so it makes it much easier. Um, 
one thing about the inverted uh, takedown is that uh, it does leave a body hanging there, which uh, means you can't do another inverted takedown until you re get rid of it, in which case you just throw a battering at the cable and they'll fall to the ground. There's actually an achievement, though, where if you can dump one of those bodies on top of somebody else, uh, you know, you get a 10 point achievement, which is pretty neat. And right here, I am simply just waiting for the other guy to get down there so I can quickly wrap doing? him up. And another inverted takedown, and I'm done. The the actual video skips here because I'm switching to a different game I played, um, which is, is why I actually the feel will look different than the way it should. From this point, um, you're free to uh, jump around and get all the uh, the question mark here, the question marks, and the clues. There's the first one, then there's the croc one here, and the, the uh, Arkham Spirit uh, runes and the uh, three teeth which are right over here one two and there's a third one with uh, the question mark right behind you can uh, the breakable wall you go talk to the doctor real quick and they send you on to the next part of where you have to rescue the three doctors um, from observation surgery and the third one, which I can't remember at the moment. And this is okay. So you just just follow the the uh, the red lines. Um, what I did right there is that once you talk to them, you can actually leave through the front door, grabbing those two um, real quick. You know, for an easy 400 uh, experience points. And now just follow the yellow line to the uh, first room take out these guys real quick again with this lower number you really can't get too fancy you can work up to the takedowns though if you do it right and it's always cooler to finish with the take with the uh, takedowns because it's just just that much cooler um, here you're rescuing Dr. Young. What you want to do is, uh, using the two breakable walls, you quickly put, uh, foam on both of them at the same time, and that'll actually take out all four bad guys without hurting Dr. Young. Or all five, I should say. Rescue her, just jump up on top of the uh, area that you're in to grab the uh, question mark. Um, there are going to be, after each room, there's going to be one of these big purple packages. Um, the first two just have three teeth in them, easy enough. Um, the last one is a little trickier. So just zip up on that one to grab that one and uh, ignore in the left hand turn. This brings you to surgery and uh, like an ambush where you take on you know ten guys. Batman. It's not too bad. Again, Don't just <coughs> try to keep now. everything in nice rhythm. It's a trap. Um, I know. Using your battering just if you have it, if you me. want, and uh, just making sure to counter. Try not to ram lean on the button too much because if you're in mid uh, you punch when they hit you, you won't do do anything, now, and you'll just you know end up getting hit. There, boys. So try, you know, being very methodical, just don't just, you know, hit the button as fast as you can. One thing that's good to know, though, is that, um, those takedowns, uh, while you're doing them, they won't attack you, but the bigger guys, the ones that are tight, will. So that's, uh, once this fight's over, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, stay tuned for part two where I do the rest of it and the uh, boss fight against me.
Don't get too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event.